Today, we're going to talk about Rachel Zegler, oh, God. who got backlash. She's supposed to be the next Snow White. She got backlash, which could ruin Disney's show remake, Snow White. Okay, let's read this. And, Rob, if you can get the clip ready uh, of the second one. The one I tweeted. As a matter of fact, just go on my Twitter account, and you'll see the one that I have. And, and just put that one up there. You were just on it right now. Okay, so I'll read it. Rachel Zegler. Cr uh, critical remarks regarding the upcoming live-action Snow White remake have triggered concerns about <laughs> potential damage to ticket sales. The 22-year-old actress faced backlash for her negative views on the original 1937 film and the prince character, which she labeled a stalker. Branding expert warns that Ziegler comments could impact the film's reception. She has been accused of gaslighting and dubbed a fake feminist, Disney faces challenges of managing Snow White's portrayal and controlling actor statements to prevent negative effects on ticket sales. Despite Rachel Zegler's playing the lead role, experts suggest that Disney executive might need to reconsider her suitability for promoting the film. So play this clip, if you may. Just listen to what she says. She just sounds bitter and angry. Go for it. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there's what? a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Oh, so we didn't God. do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie. What shirt Andrew is she Burnham, wearing? Great dude. Yeah. Um, it's a... Uh, one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. Bro, I'm it, who the hell are you to say all of Andrew's scenes could get cut? Like, who are you? Oh my God. Are you Disney? Are you running? Can you go back to the tweet on what I told Bob Iger? Can you go back to that? Here's what I told Bob. I said, I'm curious, Bob. Don't you think messages like this is why Disney keeps having box office flops? <laughs> I've read your book, and I have. It's a phenomenal book. It's Right of a right Lifetime, of a I think it's called. Great book. I had an entire company read the book. You're a smart CEO. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure I'm convinced you're okay with this. You're losing generation of loyal viewers. When you think about Snow White, honestly, what is the premise? What is the it's story? It's a love of story. It's, it's a, a love it's story. A, it's a dream for a it's, girl to exactly. grow up and a um, man falls in love. I mean, the plot is about will, will the Prince Charming show up? And then after she says that, she gets a bunch of backlash. Play about 45 seconds of this. She actually cries, if you can get to that part. And then I want to hear from you. There's mm -hmm. a part that she gets emotional like uh, people are – she said death threats. I don't know which dwarf gave you death threats, but she's saying she's getting death threats. <laughs> Sleep. Play from right there. You that, know. That's her agent. Yeah, that's, it was that's death a, to her career. Press play. Yeah. Go ahead. Actually, just played from the beginning. We just yeah. won't play the whole thing. And, Pat, while, yeah, while it's loading – She's being censored now. Yeah, like yeah exactly. And, Pat, while it's loading, then guess what? It's not the Snow White movie then. Name it a different yeah, movie. Totally fine. But leave Snow White alone. Yeah, they're, they're to totally fine. Go, go ahead. Before this thing uh, plays for us, yeah. we, 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 uh, go ahead. It, taken out of context, and I know that at this point I can't really stop people from doing that because of course. Yeah. that's what my whole existence on the internet is, is just me being taken out of context nice, and stuff, uh, yeah. which is fine. That's what I signed up for, isn't okay. it? Um, <laughs> but I never Weird. wanted to Pobrecito. come off as me being Weird. ungrateful Weird. for the opportunities I have when I say that this has been the biggest adjustment of my life, like understanding the way my life operates now, being who I am, and the things that I've been so fortunate to make. It comes with so much ground, so much ground that I never thought I would be able to cover and that people think I'm doing poorly. And other people think I'm doing gracefully, and I don't think I'm doing it at all. <laughs> so when I tell you that it's hard. You can pause it right here. I, I will tell you this. For, for, I love the way she communicates. She's a freaking great communicator. Words, like ability to talk. Fantastic. Obviously, she's very attractive, very cute. But her, her, her vibe, views, her the, eliteness, her like... I know what's right, and you don't, and now you want to apologize, bro. This is how the world works when you get on social media. We had a, at our event at the insurance conference. What was the format? It was a debate format. Our debate, leaders got up in the format, yeah. de debated each other. You know what? Everybody was asking me questions. Should I say this? Should I say that? Here's what I told everybody. You can say that, but if you say that, be ready mm -hmm. that he's going to come for you, yep. and she's going to come after you. Do not be offended if they come and say this about you. 
like, well, no, 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 that's not fair. I said, no, I'm not telling you that. All I'm saying to you is that's how this thing works in the world. If you talk shit, it's going to come back. I tell my kids, hey, man, you talk shit, that guy hits you, of course he's going to hit you. <laughs> There's something called cause and effect. We don't just sit around and say, okay, yeah, we grew up watching this movie called Snow White in all these other countries, and all of a sudden you show up, and we have to eliminate all the memories of these young girls who grew up wanting to have an experience like that, and you're the almighty, and this guy that started a company many years before you did who's given you a job, you want to trash that legacy, that company that now Disney has screwed up the last five years trying to please a small percentage of minorities in America that are bitching and whining all the time while the majority is quiet going about their business and raising their families, and we have to lift, listen to those guys cry all the damn time. Yeah, we're sick of it. We're sick of this bullshit. This is what you're getting. So the more you do this, Disney, Iger, what is this girl's name? Rachel, Rachel Ziegler, Ziegler, Ziegler yeah, whatever yeah. her name is. Yes, this is exactly the backlash you're going to get from parents who have kids who are your customers. You're supposed to win parents over. You're talking to kids. The parents pay for the tickets. You have to be a dummy as a marketer to be saying, if I'm Bob Iger, you know what we're doing? Emergency meeting. <laughs> we're putting Snow White on hold for two years, and guess what? Smart. Pay her a couple million bucks. Go away. We're going to bring another person to play this role because you just screwed this thing up. And whoever comes next, you know the guy that uh, uh, one of the things about Hollywood actors that are not on social media, you're always like, how come they're not on social media? And then some of the guys that are professional, I don't know who the, King Arthur, who's the guy that played King Arthur? I don't know what his name is. He's a, he's a great actor. If you type in King Arthur movie, what is this guy's name? Um, uh, that guy right there, what is that guy's guy name? From, um, the what is his name? Gang. Very good looking guy. Uh, gee, man, if you guys can't, go a little lower, yeah, you'll he, see it right there, the, uh, right there, right there, that guy right he's there. He's on the bike gang. Uh, no, that's not it, man. There's another King Arthur movie, I, young guy. I, I could make a joke right now. Maybe if he was on social media, we'd know his name. Well, <laughs> well, no, but the point is they asked him, they said, why are you not on social media? And he said, that's intentional because yep. it ruins the art, right? Yeah. If you're an actor mm -hmm. and you're playing somebody that you want us to, right there, that guy right there, Charlie Human? Charlie, Charlie? Yeah. Charlie? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And, and he's doing that interview. Sons of Anarchy. And you know what? I'm sitting there. I'm like, you know what? I kind of agree with you on what you're saying. Listen, Mrs. Actress, you want to get out there and play a role for us to believe you're that person? Will Ferrell is screwed for the rest of his life. If Will Ferrell plays a serious movie, I can't take him seriously. <laughs> I can't take him seriously. Yeah. That's who you are. It's done. Yeah. There's a reason why the girl that played The Exorcist, who walked backwards, never got another movie ever again. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, Lin there's a reason why the Linda movie Dirty Blair. Dancing, when the girl got a nose job, we want the girl with the bigger nose. I love it. We don't want the girl with the smaller nose. Yeah. You ruined your career. Jeff we want Gray. that girl, right? So yeah. we, we have a love affair with a role when you play in a movie. You take that innocence away, you screw the whole thing up for us. Pat, so, do, you, do you think, Pat, that that, that they like basically told her to have that attitude? Because yo, that's her. That's the story. I, that I don't think Bob Iger is okay with that. You don't think because no, that's the storyline, no. though? Because no. they changed the storyline. That's okay, but yeah. Bob Iger. I, there's yeah. no way Bob Iger is very, very smart. Mm -hmm. He is very, very smart. He's not a he's not a Republican, mm -hmm. but he's also not a Democrat. When COVID first happened, he was helping Newsom out with COVID issues that was going on because Disneyland is there and Disney World is over here. When Newsom made a decision on shutting down all the parks, all of a sudden, Iger said, dude, I'm off this board and helping you out. He left Newsom. So that is a call out to Newsom saying, dude, your policies are ruining jobs, bro. While this other guy named DeSantis is keeping my park open, you're screwing it up for me. So I believe he's a logical guy. Now he's got a feud with Newsom over here, with DeSantis over here. I think he has logic. I think he can reason. I think he's the type of guy that could one day be a good presidential candidate. So he knows this is not a good thing. He knows it. Mm -hmm. Okay, There's no way he's sitting around saying, I don't know why we're doing this. Let me give you some feedback, if I can. Uh, no, I don't think that she was coached or no, no, I think coach. this I think this is genuinely she's a product of the t her times she's a product of her environment here's a 22 year old what mixed girl whatever, well, yeah, gro whatever. Gro gro Latina I don't know what she is whatever cute girl whatever all good but she's a product of her environment she's been raised in a femme centric girl boss the future is female world I don't blame her for any of this but there's a deeper story here let me tell you something so I had to go like watch a little clip of Snow White, read a little bio of Snow White, because I haven't read it in 30 freaking years, okay? Here's actually the story here. And it's so funny how she's making the creepy guy yeah. the, the, the enemy. Uh, lo and behold, the king, uh, the wife died, and he got a, uh, was remarried to the wicked 
stepmother. She became the new queen. Do you recall this? Yes. And this wicked, vindictive bitch thought that Snow White was too pretty. So what did she hey, do? Hey, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you looking at some bitch? Yeah, hey, bitch. <laughs> Inside joke. Right Inside there. joke. So... Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of the wall? The yep. mirror said Snow White is. And yeah. So the stepmother, the queen, the wicked stepmother was like, uh-uh, we got to kill that bitch. Yeah. Enter hero number one. She calls on the huntsman to go kill Snow White out in the forest in the woods. Mm -hmm. The huntsman, the man, says, no, I'm not killing this young, beautiful girl. I'm going to set her free. So she goes free. So the queen... The vindictive, murderous bitch was the one that wanted to kill Snow White. Boom, the huntsman steps up, doesn't kill the girl, okay? Almost like the hound yeah. in um, uh, Game, of, Game Thrones. of Thrones. Okay, so hero number one. So she's running around in the woods. She runs around and finds what? Not one, not two, not five. Seven. Seven little people, because don't call them dwarves no, these days. No, forget it. Or your ass will get canceled. Yeah. So there's sleepy, there's dopey, there's grumpy, there's drug addict, whatever's going on there. <laughs> They're doing that. They take her in. They're whistling while they work. That's a crazy concept. They're working their ass off. They're in the mine. They take care of this girl. Enter seven more heroes taking care of the girl. What happens is this vindictive queen finds out she's still alive, gives her a poisonous apple to eat. She ends up dying. Enter the third hero, <laughs> the fucking prince that shows up. He's like, who's this beautiful dead girl? I feel so bad for her. Let me see if I can use my princely Power. charm yeah. and revive this dead <laughs> Chick. Okay. Well, yes. So he shows up, saves her freaking life, life. aka a stalker. Okay. <laughs> Long story short, she comes back to life. Insert, she becomes the queen. Happy ending. All good. So I ask you this who's the bad guy in the story? <laughs> the bitch, the, the girl. Fucking queen. Okay. <laughs> Who are the good guys in the story? Wow. The, the huntsman dudes. that spared her life, the, the seven dwarves that took this homeless chick in, let her live with them, yeah. and the freaking prince that literally saved her life and made her a queen. <laughs> so what's the biggest theme here? <laughs> Is that there's this femme-centric, anti-men uh, mantra going on here. But at the end of the day, here's what's going to happen to this young lady. She's either going to come to the realization that she's actually going to fall in love with a real man... Uh, much less a fucking prince if she can find one yeah. uh, like Prince Harry and Meghan Markle who's complaining about being uh, a princess that's a whole other uh, conversation yeah. or she can go down the Chelsea Handler I'm a feminist boss babe I don't need no man mentality so the choice is yours young beautiful girl um, Rachel Zegler so uh, the last thing I'll say to this is okay the you know, there's been backlash about um Black girls playing white roles, you know, what, uh, there was a black girl that played Ariel, the Little Mermaid, whatever, all good. I think Peter Pan, they're coming out with the movie, Tinkerbell's going to be a black girl. I don't really care. I mean, I, it'd be weird if a white dude played Black Panther, whatever, but... <laughs> Uh, what I have a problem with is I love Adam you know, on a roll. Yeah, on a roll. It's like Bradley Cooper playing yeah. Martin Luther King. Exactly. <laughs> so okay, it's a little weird. I don't really care. What I don't like is the historical inaccuracies. Yeah. Okay. So um, uh, now a white girl is going to play Pocahontas. That just didn't happen. Yeah. She was a Native American. By the way, where did Sleeping Beauty actually take place? It took place in Germany in the 1800s. How many black chicks were running around there, okay? So just like Pinocchio happened in Italy, uh, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty, all happened in France. Sorry, Snow White was in Germany. So it's just historically inaccurate. So if you want to whitewash history and do all that, that's fine. But let me, let me give the, 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 the bigger picture here. What I do think is, is, is a great part of what Snow White is about is actually there's a bigger, there's a bigger thing here, is that the world is a, is a wild, crazy place. There's good and there's evil. You've got the wicked queen. Poisoning, poisoning. Okay. Chick. You've got the good man that's coming to save you. Um, there's a story about death being a part of life. She died. She came back to life. She was revolved. Shout out to my boy Jesus. Um, so is marriage. So is love. So is vanity looking in a mirror. So is beauty. So is jealousy. So is vindictiveness. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of things here that you don't really recognize as a kid and you recognize as an adult. But at the end, 
there was a happy ending. Yeah. What we say around here is the future looks bright. So shout out to Snow White and what she's doing. So in other words, today's show <laughs> yeah. is sponsored by the Snow White yeah. and, the, and the Missing Dwarf that's coming out here soon in the next six months. Yes. Uh, thank yeah. you for Disney for this uh, sponsorship. Go ahead. So you, you, so Adam, like Rachel's, uh, Rachel Ziegler is her name. I guess she's so. the type of chick that if God forbid she like OD'd or something and died, no. and the EMT showed up and gave her <laughs> mouth to mouth, and right. she woke up, she'd be like, "That piece of shit right. was trying to rape me." It's like, right. no, bitch, I gave it's you mouth to mouth. Your life. Yeah, so she's that type of girl. But yeah. man, this, this is, I, I mean, by the way, you did your Snow White research. I don't give a shit what anybody said. I did. You were up last night. First like time that. in 30 years. <laughs> years. No, but it, years. 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 But, but no, yeah, right. it's just, I'm really upset <clears throat> that it's, that the biggest theme here is that it's anti-men. She called him a stalker. He literally saved her life while she was dead. Yeah. The, the seven dwarves took her, this homeless chick in. The huntsman spared his, spared his life. But she, because of the environment she's been raised in, all she could see is that men are the stalker, men are toxic, men are weird. They were the heroes in the story. The queen was the villain. Yeah. So recognize that, Rachel. But but, but, but Pat, uh, this, how many like this? Disney is just not learning their lesson, bro. From the from the the kid stuff to that stuff to to changing stories and stuff, Pat. Like, are they what? How are they doing? Like stock wise, are they are they going down? All this woke shit isn't working. Mm -hmm. like, go to go to one year. Go to stock. Oh, yeah, like, go like back Adam, what'd you think? No, Rob, go back to where you were at. Just Listen, go to one year. Disney was no, the first go, stock yeah, I ever like owned. They're there not doing go. great. Oh, it's taking you there when you do yeah. that? Oh, okay, got it. But pal, I'll, I'll tell you, what, like, it I'll tell you what it is right now. Like, aren't they going to learn their yeah, lesson, There Pat? you go. It's down. Yeah, it like, went what down you... from 120. Maybe go five years. Let's see what it's like at five no, years. It's down. Big five time. years. Yeah, five years. Yeah. yeah it's down. Listen, it's like, oh, it... shit. It's the lowest it's been in five years. Yes. yes. Boy, that's Dang. the right That's the right of a lifetime. So, Pat, when are you, when are you going to learn moly. your lesson? Learn your lesson. Well, listen, Bob Shapak, to be fair, was not a good CEO. Okay. okay, he was a hardcore woke CEO oh, that Disney good. had. That yeah. uh, they were co CEOs together. I think Bob is the right guy that can help this thing. I really think he has the ability to reason. He was if he's able to s convince Jobs to sell, convince Lucas to sell. Con do you know what brands this guy bought? What Bob Iger's done in his resume? There's not many people. Maybe no one's ever done this before. Mm -hmm. This guy is maybe the biggest power broker of the last 30 years. Damn. I mean, this guy's not a joke on what he's done in media. He's one of the biggest power brokers in the world. I am optimistic that unless if they got some stuff on him that they're controlling him, I'm optimistic that behind closed doors, he's going to say, listen, guys, this is too much. We got to cut the scrap. This is too much. And his ESPN division just very smartly got into... OBS trying to save the division on on celebrity here celebrities don't understand like this young actress that fame may give you a platform but it doesn't give you credibility or make you smart and often when you open your mouth you show that you are not credible and not smart and you can go through life as a celebrity saying anything you want about the conservative side of the street you know what I mean, PBD? Yeah. And there's no accountability for it. Yeah. No accountability for yeah. it. So you get accustomed to popping your yeah. mouth off, and there's no accountability. And all of a sudden, you go off rails at the presser for your movie coming out that tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars have been spent on it, and you're about to find that you have entered FAFO level 10. <laughs> and um, welcome Welcome. Uh, That's, it's, uh, to me, it's that simple. You don't have any accountability for opening your mouth. You pop off all the time, and now you do here. Whammo. And you find out. Fame gave you a platform, but didn't make you smart, sweetie. Did, did you see? Rob, I just Whammy. sent you the photo. This is seven. It's it's Snow White. Did you see what the seven dwarfs look like? Pat, uh, Rob, I There's just sent seven you. seven little people. Look at them. Vinny. No, no, but yeah, but look at them. Those are the those are the dwarfs. Is it what, not? For the new movie? Is this, is this the movie, Rob? Because I know, I, I know there was a big controversy about Disney's live... Oh, this is a live action. <laughs> That's their live action. Those are the dwarves. Yeah. Wait a minute. Is this Woodstock? Those that guy are, looks 6'4 in the back. Joking. I was about to say, the last guy's about 6'4, six, 6'5. Six, <laughs> That's a diverse Snow White remake latest this is film. This that, They had to have bro, one midget. That's a joke. I'm right? not joking. Person. No, Rob. Rob, Google that. That's the, that's the seven dwarves live action. They're, that's them. And there was a hey, controversy about that. I'm just happy that. they're all men. <laughs> no, there's a girl in the back. Is there, um, there was a girl in the back. Rob, that's that, Pat, that's the. There is a girl. Disney's live action Snow White takes wokeness to a You're absurd level. You're rewriting history, their live, gentlemen. That's their live action is those, that's the dwarves. Wow. That guy's 6'2". Right. <laughs> well, look, I mean, here, here's, 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 here's what you have to realize. I mean, it, when it comes down to parents have to want to take their kids to these movies. Yeah. It's that simple. Parents have to want to take their kids to the movies. And if they do, 
you you prove your point. Okay, it's working. But guess what? The last five movies of yours have been absolute box office flops. Flop. Not one movie, not two movies, not three movies. Now I'm doing pulling a LeBron here. Not yeah. four movies. Not one. Five not two movies have been flops. Not. Bro, five movies have been flops. And you're Disney. It's not supposed to happen to you. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.